Hello everybody and welcome back to Shay's Hobby Dog Bay. This is our last part to that tag comparing the 1970s to the 1980s that Patty from Life with Patty done. And she didn't tag me, but you know, she said anybody that wanted to do it could, so I decided I'd do it. And mine is so long, I've done it in all different kind of parts. I don't even know what number of part this is. I just know it is the last one. <laughs> the number, I'll try to do the number in the title of it. So, we left off where I was. I'm going to say it was... All right, I'm going to go back to 82. We lived on Bowie in our trailer, right? My grandma lived with us, my mama's mama, Ma Walker. I was 14 years old. She passed away then when I was 14 years old. And I had gotten her bedroom, so I had two bedrooms. The middle little one and the other bigger one that was hers. I think I mentioned that. So in 83, I turned 15. And when we was going to a church that had a Christian school, and sometimes my mama had to, the way my daddy worked, he had to go away to Florida for a whole month, and my mom would go with him. So, if school was going on, which it usually was, I had to stay with uh, my pastor's wife so I could go to school. And I actually had my 15th birthday party there at the school. And uh, I think we moved our trailer from Bowie Swamp into town out by the highway before I had my 16th birthday. So I think I turned 16 after we had moved our trailer. It was actually on the highway right beside our church and where my school was. So we had moved there and I turned 16. After I turned 16, I asked mama if I could like Instead of going to the church, to the school, to do my schoolwork, because it was books, could I work on them at home and do, like, school at home with them? So, she agreed. So, I'd done that for a little while, but then I ended up not finishing working in my books, not finishing school. I kind of regret that. I wished I had went on to school, became something, even went on to college and, you know, really became something. So I could have had a good job and made some good money throughout my life. But I didn't. So there's that. Okay, so then I turned 17. By this time I had my driver's license. I was driving a car. Mama had given me her old car when she got a new one. But then it ended up being a lemon. I ended up having a wreck in it. Me and my two cousins on the way to church one night. And, uh, totaled it out. Well, it probably didn't total it out. I don't know. Anyway, so by that time we had changed churches and was going to another church. And I was driving around, going to town, going to my granny's, going to get stuff from my mama. And, you know, and I still had house chores. And basically that's all I know to say about that. Oh, my mama and daddy had a diner that they worked at and where they cooked hamburgers and stuff for people. I had worked there for a little while and was a waitress there. Um, I had my 17th birthday party at that diner. And then I also remember having my 18th birthday party there, not at the diner, but in the trailer on the highway there living at home with mom and dad. And uh, it, I has, I'm the one that planned, okay, I'm turning 18 years old. This is the last birthday party I'm going to have. And I planned it big. I did a, a slumber party type thing and invited all my friends over. And the next morning, because it was a Friday night, so Saturday morning, we all went to the mall. I had an Elvis Presley guitar cake. And, you know, it was fun. All right, well, after that, you know, I wasn't planning on having any more birthday parties. Well... I didn't have to worry about that anyway because I ended up getting married before I turned 19. So I met Albert and we got married and I moved into the little apartment in town there in Collins with him. And that ends my story. I mean, that's 87. We got married in 87. I mean, you only have 
88-89, and then you're in the 90s. So this tag was to compare the 1970s to the 1980s. And then to now, which I'm not good with that part. And I'm older, way older, of course. I never was, you know, I, I've i always just, if I wanted something, go to town and buy it. Not saying I'm rich and had plenty of money, but I never did really worry about prices. I didn't compare prices. I didn't try to budget and get the cheap prices. I just, if I wanted it and had the money, I got it, you know. <laughs> so as far as comparing all that, but yeah, back when I was a kid, things were not so, you know, scary and leery and worried. You know, I played outside all day long as a kid, riding bikes, playing games with my friends in that neighborhood I told y'all about, all of that. So, I don't know anything else to say about this tag. I did it in a bunch of parts. I'm sorry for that, y'all. <laughs> I've enjoyed telling these stories, though. I hope y'all have enjoyed them. And, like I said, that's the end of it. I'm not going to tag anybody. I just thought it was neat and fun, and I wanted to do it, so I did it. Um, if anybody else out there that sees it online and wants to do it, go for it. If y'all want, since I did mine kind of differently and in a bunch of parts, go to Life with Patty and, and find her tag comparing 1970s to 1980s to now and watch hers and see how it's really supposed to be done and then y'all can do it if you want to. Alright guys, that's all I have for you for now. So I am out of here until next time. I'm, I'm going to Luke.